Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing a Lenormand Grand Tableau. We're using all the cards in the deck and we are going to find out exactly what's going on uh, in your life, especially with regard to your relationship. We want to understand um, what the person is feeling, whether there is somebody else in their lives, whether they have anything to hide, um, what their intentions are to you, what action they're going to take towards you, and um, what is the general status of your relationship. Can you um, understand your relationship better? Can you lift the veil of your relationship so that you could um, be able to perhaps have an, another uh, perspective of it, a bird's eye perspective, so to say. So I would like you to choose, uh, we have five decks here, and it's deck one, two, three, four, and five. Please make your selection, and you may go down to the description box below where you will find the timestamps. The timestamps will be of when the weeding begins, and not uh, will not include the shuffling and the laying out process because it does take quite long, um, especially with the spread. Okay, so if you've chosen, um, then uh, you may go directly to your timestamp below. I'm going to start. Okay, well, so we're beginning with deck one. Um, oops, the sun again. Here you are. I hope you get to see all of the cards here. So I'm giving this good shuffle, and I want to know for those who have chosen this deck. What is it that what is it that they need to know about their relationship, about their lives, about their loved ones, and about their situation in general? Okay, so I hope that you can see that um, clearly enough. All right, so I shall begin the reading. So um, I'm going to do this reading from two perspectives, uh, from the perspective of the woman and from the perspective of the man. I'm going to begin as if this was the perspective of the woman and then I will follow it up with the perspective of the man. 
So um, I'm sorry for the men who are reading, who are watching this video. Uh, you need to um, wait through the, uh, yeah, wait uh, to go through the, the version for the woman. All right, so in this situation, I see that a woman is carrying burdens. She's burdened, she has worries, she has difficulties in her life, which is hard for her to come through. And um, she, she is sitting in this at this moment, and that is with regard to a man, okay? The burden that she carries is with regard to a man, a man who is in a relationship. A relationship which is um, a really difficult relationship, which is punishing the light in that's riding forth, that's coming through. It's there's craftiness, there's uh, a level of dishonesty, and um, this light that's coming through could be coming through from a work perspective, but if the, that doesn't apply to everyone, but the it's, it's punishing the light that's coming through. Um, which is actually thought about quite a lot by the woman. So it's something that's pondered upon quite a lot, thought about. And she, she thinks about making a decision. A decision which requires strength. Um, this decision could also be with regard to another woman, but for that won't apply again to everyone, but sometimes that can apply. So a decision with strength. Um, the strength which requires ending the deception or the uh, clandestine aspect of this at work or um, yeah, at work basically, or in a in a official context. So, in a in a mainstream official context, this person is, um, it, this relationship here with this man is is um, a clandestine relationship, or it's not meant to be. It's not supposed to be exposed. It's not supposed to be something that is. Uh, it would not necessarily be appreciated by those around you. And in that, there's confusion. Confusion with regard to the gift, the gift of which is the opportunity to move or to travel in some cases, or to simply to move towards something, or to, yeah, to travel or to move house as well. Um, but it, as I said, that won't always apply to everyone. But uh, the opportunity to uh, move towards cutting away um, towards cutting away where is the side here? Mm -hmm. Ah, towards cutting away the communication. Okay, the communication, the communication which, with her, with her, here's a woman who's burdened by this man and the relationship, the relationship which is a really difficult path, which is punishing the light that's riding forth. Uh, it's punishing the light that's riding forth in a work situation. Or it could be simply the light in their lives. So basically, this person is so burdened by the thoughts of this relationship or the, the difficult aspect of this relationship with this man that it's taking away their light. Yeah. And there's um, this aspect of sneakiness going on here. There's an aspect of somebody watching, somebody maybe stalking, maybe wandering, maybe, you know, trying to understand a person's feelings, even uh, looking at their profile pictures, etc or trying to figure out what's going on in their life. So there's that aspect, the sneakiness, that is, um, it's not always a negative thing. It could be just that you're trying to craft your next move. And this is deeply thought of. This is deeply pondered. This is just takes up a lot of this person's mind. And 
of which they feel they need to make a decision, a decision that requires strength um, with regard to the an ending, an ending of this deception of this with this person, the deception uh, with this person in an official context, perhaps, um, of which there's confusion, confusion regarding the gift, the gift of the opportunity, the opportunity of a move, of a move towards cutting away, cutting away the communication. Okay, the communication is, where is that communication? Oh, the communication with the woman. So she is feeling here that um, she's really burdened by this person and how difficult this relationship is. And actually it's taking away the fact that she's trying to um, understand how he feels and is maybe looking at his Facebook profile or his WhatsApp or whatever um, means she finds a way of looking through him or at him, maybe by doing pick a card readings, understanding his feelings, etc. This is taking away, it's wearing away her, her light, her energy. And uh, it is, um, it's something that she's thinking about. And she's thinking about making a decision regarding that. And that decision requires a lot of strength and discipline. And, and, re and it means cutting away or bringing an end rather to the, um, the deception so it might be that she wants to perhaps talk to him about how she's been feeling if this is somebody who has these feelings and they have not related to this person uh then it's something that she would need to talk she's thinking about and talking to him about it uh alternatively if you are in a relationship and it is a sort of clandestine relationship because it's in a work context because i see this work aspect in two two parts here um it, it it could uh, then perhaps maybe ending the relationship because of the work context, because of the professional relationship. It's not always work. It could just be an um, an official relationship or professional relationship of some sort. And um, there's deception there. So the um, if it's not that, then it's simply basically um, bringing to light something that's been hidden. Okay. And that is bringing to light something that's been hidden, which is causing confusion. It's, it's, it's clouding the gift. It's clouding the, the joy, the gift of this person here. And, and which, is, which is an opportunity um, uh, for communication. So basically, she's thinking of ending. She's either thinking here, that she's thinking that it's taking up a lot of space in her life. And it's, it's taking away energy. And that she should either speak to him. Or cut off the communication with him here and uh, and end this in some way now let's see what else is going on here okay love is um, the key all right love is the key here and there's hope love is the key of which there's hope that which is anchored anchored we're in a meeting a meeting where there is commitment or a partnership a partnership which is based on an attraction an attraction which is now secret a secret attraction of which which have um which has a new either a new beginning or which in some cases may have a child involved okay or may be related to a child um uh, but it actually is, um, yeah, it could also involve a new beginning. So if we read it as a new beginning, a new beginning in love, okay, a new beginning in love is the key to the hope that of being anchored in a meeting, a meeting uh, where there's a commitment, okay, a commitment of which is, which is based on a, se a sexual attraction, on passion, um, on affection also, which is a secret, a secret uh, at this moment. Okay, so this person, this love that's there, and there's the hope that there would be a meeting, which could lead to a commitment, which could lead to a relationship, which is based on the attraction and the power of the of the attraction that's felt already between the two parties. What else do we have here? Um, Communication, letter, the letter. So communication is guaranteed because the letter is in the space of the letter. Because 
when you lay out the grand tableau in this way from 1 to uh, 36, the number two, this is the number 27 and this is the letter. So this leak lies upon the letter. And when you find a card that lies upon that, uh, I read it as um, something that's absolutely going to take place. It's determined. It's definitely going to be. So there's definitely communication here. And it could be written communication, could be text messages, could be an email, could also be a letter. Um, it, this could also be a contract. If you're doing a contract with a person, uh, with a with a, a person at work or, or some kind of work or service contract, loyalty, okay, is eat the loyalty that this person she has towards him, is eating away. The, is eating away. The legacy, okay, the legacy of the, the abundance of the abundance uh, which is in the home of this person. Okay, so basically the way in which I'd read that is that the loyalty that she has towards him and towards, that she has towards this infatuation, I think it's an infatuation in many cases here, that she has towards this infatuation or she has an, towards this man, she's completely loyal to him, she's completely given herself to him. And she spent so much of time thinking about it and, and, and struggling and dif having difficulty with it and trying to understand how he feels, etc that it's losing, um, it's losing, it's eating away at her. It's eating away at what she, at the wealth that she has already had in her life. It's eating away at the abundance that she naturally has in her life, that she has accumulated in her life. So other aspects of her life may be suffering as a result of these thoughts and these feelings that she's had for him. It's taking something away from her. Okay, and this is impacting our home environment to a large extent or her personal, her person. Yeah, it's impacting her and it's taking away the, the goodness from, from, from that. So uh, a move to cutting away communication, be uh, away, perhaps away. Although the key here that they're giving us is, is, is hope. Hope to be anchored in a meeting. Hope that we you could meet with each other, a meeting which then brings a commitment or some kind of decision to be with each other. Okay, so for those of you who are men and watching this video, all right, here's a man um, who is in a relationship, in a really difficult relationship. Okay, and that difficult relationship is punishing the light that's riding forth by its sneakiness or at riding forth in his work or by the sneakiness. The sneakiness uh, or the, the deceptive act, act, action of this person is, is deeply thought of uh, also in terms of making a decision. A decision also with regard to perhaps another person. And this could also be the wife if this person is married. Um, yeah, in most cases, this person is not married, I think. But in a few cases, this person could be married, could be the other woman. Make a decision regarding the other woman and ending of that relationship. Uh, the relationship of or another person this could be a man as well okay um, so ending that relationship and uh, ending the deception which has been causing confusion in an, in an official capacity it was causing some kind of confusion regarding official matters um, Confusion of which has been a gift. The confusion has been a gift. The confusion has been a gift. So this, this per, okay, confusion has been a gift, a gift of an opportunity for a move towards cutting away communication with the woman. Okay, so in this case, this is also with regard to a woman, right? Because these two cards are linked in their, in, 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 in this reading. So 
in this case, I'm reading this as this man who may have another person or his work has been impacted on some level. And uh, he sees this confusion as uh, an opportunity or a gift for an opportunity to be able to cut away the communication with this woman or this person. Now, if you're reading, um, if you're a man who's interested in what a man, uh, another man is feeling, then I would say, you know, take the gentleman card to be you and take the lady to be the other person. Uh, even if you're, uh, the other person doesn't have any feminine attributes and, and read it in that way. So the, and the same goes for the woman who in the, in the previous reading. So there is the um, man here who is wanting to, he sees the confusion, which is a gift of being, of an, as an opportunity to be able to move towards cutting away the communication with this woman. This woman who is a burden to him. Okay. He's burdened. He's burdened. His burdens are sitting on him. It's a really difficult part that's punishing the light also. Okay, it's not that different from the uh, reading for a woman in this particular case. That's not always the case though, it doesn't always work like that. There is definitely communication here. There's a meeting which is committed to a sexual attraction, to passion, which is a secret and will, could be a secret beginning of love. Love, which is the key to the hope. The hope of being anchored in this meeting. If this is a man or a woman, you both uh, are thinking about very deeply about the situation. And even though there's light riding forth, there's a sense of deception or a sense of sneakiness, a sense of not somebody not being as honest as they would need to be. Okay, I think I have um, I've said all that I can about this for this particular moment. There is a way one can read a lot through this. You could read about work, you could read about uh, family, you could read all kinds of things through this. But uh, since I'm, I'm putting this out as a love reading, I'm going to stop there. So I thank you for those of you who've come by and chosen this. I hope this has made some sense to you. As I said, it's one of my favorite ways of reading and I stumbled upon it about three to four years ago and I've used it extensively in my readings since then with clients as well as uh, in my own uh, readings for myself. And it's, it's proven to be an amazing source of information and I've really, really enjoyed it. I absolutely love doing, doing uh, readings in this way. And as you've noticed, I haven't read it in a traditional sense of reading the Grand Tableau. Uh, it is my way of reading it. Okay, so that was the deck one and now we're moving on to the deck two. Okay, so I believe it was um, this one for those of you who've chosen this deck. Be asking, what do we need to know about the relationship? Oops, why is this card here? Okay, what do we need to know about the relationship? What do we need to know about this person's life?
All right, I hope you can see these cards. Um, yes, okay, so I'm gonna begin. All right, so the first thing I see uh, is that this communication that's riding forth an opportunity. Communication riding forth an opportunity for luck where there's confusion. Confusion regarding the, um, the clandestine or the, the deception, what is hidden. Uh, which is transforming or bringing an ending to, uh, of which there's a hope, a hope of a legacy of something long-term, which is the key to the really difficult path of which that path is a burden, a burden of commitment or marriage, of which there needs to be communication. So I'm reading this one a little bit differently from um, the first deck. Uh, I'm just talking about what is in here at first, and then I will talk about it from the men's perspective, from the man's perspective, or the woman and the woman's perspective. It very much has to do with. Uh, it seems like this person is locked in with their home, and they're locked in with their with their reputation and with what they've built already, and they don't want to lose that. And they have the hope of being in a long-term relationship, but coming forth and speaking about a relationship is a very difficult path for them. Um, what I do see is that this is a gift, okay? This is a gift for the man as well as for the woman. This is surely a gift, and it's a beautiful gift, which is appreciated. Communication with regard to work, communication or a contract in work brings love and the love of a meeting in a meeting, a meeting which is deeply thought of, cutting away cutting away the new beginning which is anchored in this letter. Okay. Um, from a man's perspective, if we look at this, here is a man sitting in a relationship. Right, he's in a relationship already. Loyal in this relationship. There's loyalty. Loyalty of which there's a decision need to be made again regarding the house. The house where there's money, sneakiness with regard to the woman. The woman who's bringing to light, punishing the move, the move um, that's eating him away okay so it could be a situation where you know he she wants him to move yeah and leave this house perhaps and he's worried about that he doesn't want to do that or she wants him to move house or move cities or move countries or something and he doesn't want to do that um, he's committed to where is he committed he's committed to um, communicating riding forth an opportunity where there's strength. He wants to bring clarity. He needs to have the strength to bring clarity to this, what is not being said. Some things that are not being said in this relationship and it needs to be spoken about. And he's finding, he needs to, he's committed to finding the strength to be able to talk about this and to being able to uh, bring an ending to this what has not been said. Uh, in some cases, it could be a, uh, an attract, um, a, a another kind of relationship, a clandestine relationship, a relationship outside of a, another relationship, of which there is an ending of the secret attraction. There's an ending of the secret attraction. Could also be a, a transformation of that. He may also think that she's interested in his money or she may, he may, it may have crossed his mind. It may have crossed his mind that she's interested in his money. Or that she will, he will lose money as a result of her. That's more likely the case. That Not that she's interested in his money, but he will lose money as a result of her. Um, or will he will lose what he's built up. She's, she really loves him though. She has real love from the moment they met each other. And... She's committed to speaking to him, writing forth this opportunity. 
and an official love. It's like maybe you met each other at work or maybe you met each other um, in, a, in an official com uh, capacity. Maybe you went to a state office and this person was there. Um, because there is this um, this card of this something official, something work-related when it comes to love or administrative. It's more likely to be administrative. Either way, he's being eaten away by this and he sees her as being sneaky or not as honest or as if he will lose something while being with her. Okay, so I don't know if that's made sense to you at all. Um, it's I've realized now after doing this um, on uh, for the public or in a, in a more general way that it's much easier to, to use these kind of spreads um, working with um, yeah with clients directly because then it's so much easier to ask questions and to to move along and to understand exactly what the dynamics are and then to be able to build upon that but because I'm not speaking to you right now and I'm not um, able to uh, to actually um, ask you more questions I can't build upon it that I can just give you the surface meaning uh, of this and um, so it kind of becomes quite yeah it becomes quite sort of there is information there but there's not as information as I'm, I'm used to being able to give and um, that is a bit of a shame so I'm just gonna go on to the third day For those of you who've chosen this one, um, what is it that you need to know about your love life? So for this one, um, I'm going to start with love here. So love is, that it is in the house uh, where there's an abundance of hope. No, sorry, there's an abundance of um, a relationship. A relationship of which there's strength, strength which is cutting away deep thought deep thought about a secret love. Okay, that's interesting. So in this spread here, with regard to love, there's love that's in the home, okay, of which there's an abundance of hope. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, abundance of inner relationship, a relationship which requires strength, um, which is strong and which is cutting away Deep thought, where's deep thought? Deep thought about a secret, about a secret, where's my secret? About a secret love. Because, yes, secret love. Okay, so this person seems to be in a relationship and therefore uh, there is, but there is a secret love, but the relationship is very strong that they have already and so they are uh, not considering, yeah, they're cutting away that. They're using their strength, their discipline to um, push that out of their mind. All right, so I'm going to look at it from a woman's perspective and then from a man's perspective. So here we see the woman and she's, um, 
She's sitting in, in a sp space of communication. She wants to communicate. She wants to communicate and this is anchored in... This is anchored in a commitment. A commitment of which there's hope. Hope of, but which is a really difficult path of which the, the decision needs to be made regarding a move or a travel. Travel which the, of which there's confusion. Confusion regarding the loyalty. Loyalty that she has. Okay. Right. So. Here we see that the gift is actually a burden. The gift is a burden in terms of the reputation, in terms of the legacy of which there was an opportunity to bring light to this person. Yeah. And where he, he ate away and punished and um, sort of destroyed the opportunity to ride forth with this attraction. The attraction uh, has been written about, has been communicated. And it's been communicated in a more kind of deception, a deceptive way. It's been communicated in an underhanded way. And it is uh, here, it's been, or in a way that's not as direct. And that is, it's almost like a crafty way, which has led to a beginning, a new beginning, or a transform, an, almost um, the beginning of the end, or a transformation, which is actually the key to a meeting. So it's almost as if there could have been a meeting here, but there wasn't. There's an attraction. He's put a stop to it. And the key to a meeting, which is the gift. The gift is the burden. So there's an attraction that somebody has for another. And they've put a stop to it because it's a burden. They have just stopped short of meeting this person when they were supposed to. Almost as if they've ghosted you. Or they could have decided, okay, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to meet with you. I'm sorry. My 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 family, um, my my home, is where my love is, and that's what I'm committed to. That's where the the abundance is in my life, in my relationship with this woman, because this can also be a woman, yeah. So she, it could be a woman, or it could be strength as well. So this is. That, and therefore, that is what's cutting away uh, the deep thought, the fantasies, the deep feelings, which are secret, which is a secret love. So this is what this person is doing. So he's sitting here, this, from a man's perspective, there's a man sitting in and eating away, punishing, the riding forth of an attraction which has been communicated in an underhanded manner not directly so he might have intimated that he has feelings for you but he hasn't been very direct with it so he's left you wondering and there you are in a situation where you're just wondering whether this person has feelings and why are they coming forth and you know he's showing you one thing but then he's not acting upon it and it's because this person is actually in a, it's, it's like this person is happily married or happily in a relationship with somebody else or doesn't want to upset the apple cart with that and finds a lot of joy, joy with that. This could be also the mother of their kids. So this can often be, uh, this is the mother of their kids and they are, they don't want to leave even though they have this attraction. And this attraction is a love. Yeah, it's a secret love they have. But they're not willing to take away the the abundance or the even the wealth from their home. This feels very similar to the other reading, actually. Um, there's you there's work again here. So this is this work context. 
The key to meeting, the key to meeting is a gift which is a burden in the home. No, not in the home, sorry. In the legacy, which is an of an opportunity to bring light to him. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at it from his perspective. He's sitting here, he needs to make a decision. No, hang on, he's not needing to make a decision. He's sitting here eating, he's being eaten away by punishing that. Okay, so it's actually very hard for him to do this because he's being eaten away in, even in the other reading that we had, I think the previous one, I'm not sure. The, the man was being eaten away so it's very hard for him yeah he's sitting here he's being eaten away it's punishing by punishing the writing thought of this attraction this uh, attraction here which is communicated All right there's a decision that needs to be made regarding a move or uh, travel which is bringing confusion to the loyalty to this woman. So once again, there's a decision that needs to be made with regard to a move, which is bringing confusion to the loyalty of this woman. This woman with, with this communicate, she wants to communicate being anchored in, or she has communicated, being anchored in a marriage. She's, she's maybe said to him, I'm married, okay? And there's this move, there's a decision to be made regarding a move, which is causing confusion to the loyalty of this woman. She, it's this marriage where there's a hope, where the, uh, and a hope of a really difficult path. So this is maybe how he sees it. It might be here that, both parties are married or both parties are in other relationships. Or, of course, there are several of you which this won't apply to at all. Um, but she is sitting here. She wants to communicate. Being anchored, being married, being anchored in a relationship. That's a long-term relationship of where there's a hope, where there's a really difficult path of making a decision regarding a move. A move which is causing confusion to the loyalty of her. Okay, I just wanna see if they're connected in another way. So he's sitting in, eating away the punish, punish, punish he's being eaten, eating away the puni punishment of riding forth an attraction, an attraction uh, of which it has been communicated underhandedly, yes, underhandedly, of which this craftiness regarding a new beginning or a child, um, of which there's an ending or a transformation, which is the key to a meeting. Where's my meeting? A meeting which is a gift but also a burden, burden to with regard to the reputation of this person, with regard to their what they've built. The legacy uh, of which there's an opportunity, an opportunity to uh, bring to light him, this person here. So actually they are knighting each other, both of them, but they're not in each other's orbit. These two people are not in each other's orbit. This relationship hasn't gotten off the ground as yet. And it's not certain that it will get off the ground. There is an attraction, though, that's felt very strongly from him. Perhaps also from her, but I see this very specifically with regard to him. She's loyal to her feelings. She's loyal to what she believes. She's loyal to work. She's loyal also to punishing the riding forth of this attraction. She almost wants to punish him with this attraction. She wants him to feel the attraction that he has for her. She wants him to, to suffer with with the attraction that he has for her, that so that he's forced to do something about it. There's a burden here with regard to the legacy. A legacy. A legacy which is an opportunity bringing to light him. 
So she's probably been interest, interested in him for a long time. This has probably been going on for a long time. I feel like these guys, they, they haven't met each other yesterday. Yeah, this has been going on for a while. There, there has been um, much, much that's, um, that's happened here. But nothing's gotten off the ground. Love is still a hope, and it's too difficult a path. He is knighting a love, though. Love, but the love is sitting in the house, of, in, the, in his house. So he's knighting the love that's sitting in his house. And he's also knighting his house. He's knighting his marriage, or his commitment to another. He's knighting this move, which is causing confusion. And he's knighting her. So basically, this is a situation I don't see moving because riding forth has been punished. Coming through has been, has been punished. Making a move is being punished. There's this attraction which has been fought the cutting away of deep thought of the secret. Cutting away of deep thought of the secret love. So I don't know how much that has resonated with you or if you were able to get anything from that. Do let me know in the comments down below because so moving on uh, to the deck number four, which is that deck. And I'm just gonna shuffle it already. What did those people who chose in this deck need to know about their lives? What did they know, need to know about their love life? What did the people who chose in this deck need to know about their love So here we are looking at option number four and um, I am going to begin from the woman's perspective. So there's a woman here who's sitting, she is in a, uh, in a meet, she's sitting in a space of love, in a meeting, in a meeting, in a, in a space of love where there's an abundance of endings endings which are in fact a gift okay a gift with regard to an institution or with regard to work or with regard to um, something official um, or perhaps a broader aspect of one's life something that's bigger 
that one does not necessarily realize as yet. And um, this is cutting away. It is cutting away the punishment, the difficulty of the really difficult path of the home or the matter that is closest to her, of which there's been craftiness, maybe sneaking a bit, trying to understand what's going on in the other person's head, where there is communication. Communication There we are, where we have communication, which is the key. Communication is the key, the key to the strength, which is hope for. Hope for a relationship or a partnership, which is secret. Or which is not yet spoken of, which is secret maybe from the children or from others, or which has a secret new beginning based on the attraction, based also on purity, based on the attraction, on the attraction. that is a legacy that's been there for a long time, the attraction of, which has been there for a long time, of which the, a decision needs to be made regarding riding forth an opportunity, an opportunity uh, for her. Okay, so here basically the man, the woman is facing this way, the man is facing that way, they are apart from each other right now. Um, Okay, there is much, I don't believe that there is something, I don't believe that you're connected at this moment because you are, when I read from woman to woman, I don't feel, find the connection, I'm supposed to find the connection of the man in between, but it doesn't work like that in, in, your, in this spread. So I'm gonna go through that again quickly and, and try to unpack it for you. So basically, this is the, uh, the woman she is sitting in a space of love. There's been a meeting where there's been love. The love is abundant. Okay, there's a lot of love. And it's abundant, but it's bringing a lot of changes in her life. It's bringing a lot of changes in a very in a bigger perspective in her life. And it's a gift. This is a gift. These changes are a gift. It's a gift. Um, it could also be an actual institutional gift on some level. I don't know how that would pan out. Maybe tax returns some level i don't know but it's it's got to do with an institution or with work and that's cutting away what is punishing the punishing of the really difficult path or something that was difficult which is in the house the house of where okay so this is not necessarily a literal house okay but it's it's a house where there's maybe sneakiness or not something being spoken about not something being forth, put forth in an outright manner, they, where they might have been like some kind of looking around or understand, trying to understand another person's perspective with strategy. And there is, a, well, may, or maybe strategizing the next communication because this is sitting in communication, uh, communication, which is the key to the strength, to the hope, the strength and the hope of a relationship, a relationship which is secret or which has a secret beginning or which will, or has, or this is her secret wish, yeah, that she wants this relationship and, and it's based on attraction, a, a, very, a passion, a sexual attraction on a great deal of 
attraction. It's also there's a very pure, pure there's a feeling of real purity with these feelings. That is what she has, and that's what's sitting on it with her. Well, well, that has been a legacy rather, a legacy of needing to make a decision about riding forth with regard to this opportunity. Okay, now from a man's perspective, he's here, he's looking the other way, he's married or he's in a committed relationship, yeah, and he is, um, where is his commitment? He's loyal. He's loyal. I know, I know this sounds like I'm reading to a lot of married people here who are looking outside of their relationships, but uh, it's coming up in this way, okay, so... The, uh, and I can just tell you what the cards are saying. I'm not doing a clairvoyant reading right now. I'm doing, I'm just reading your cards for you. And so the, um, there's this man who's sitting in a marriage, in a commitment, which is where there's loyalty. And this loyalty, where's the dog here? There. This loyalty is eating away What's it eating away? This loyalty is eating away. What is it eating away? I can't see my mice. Oh, there we are. This loyalty is eating away the communication or written communication or um, a letter eating away a communication of which uh, of, yeah from him it's eating away so he, he wants to communicate actually but he has this loyalty and so he's not going to go communicate and that's eating him away it's making it's interesting this card has been in all, all this reading so far the man has been eaten away in some way. The mice has always been connected with the man. It's been gnawing away at him. So there's a letter perhaps that he, this woman has sent to him and uh, which is gnawing away at him because he's got this loyalty towards his relationship. This is a difficult situation for the people who have chosen this um, deck because their light is clouded. It's like the clouds over their, their sun. And uh, their sun is in the space of the moon, which is shrouded. Yeah, there's darkness. There's not light in their lives in this moment. And this is... Um, in a space which needs to be moved. This, this whole thing needs to be moved. Moved. It needs to be shifted. Okay, it needs to be shifted out of the deception, which is a burden, out of the lies, out of what is not true about this. Okay, and I think what is not true about this situation is that she knows that he's um, in another relationship, but she has this love anyway, and she wants to give it to him. She just doesn't know how to go about giving it to him. And so she, she finds difficulty in actually uh, putting forth those feelings, and therefore that is this deception. He knows how she feels, though. Uh, he's just not doing anything about it because, oh, it's eating him away. He wants to do something about it, but he can't because he's very loyal. This is a very loyal man to his, uh, to his relationship that he's in, this commitment that he's in. It's a really difficult path in the home. Whose home? There's the home here, the craftiness. Ah, that's related to the woman. Okay. Ah, something is anchored here, though. And I do believe it's the man who's being is anchored. He's anchored. He's not moving. It's not going to change. The situation's not going to change. It's going to stay this way. It's not really moving. Sorry, guys. It's not really the most wonderful reading, yeah? There's not a lot of good news here. But it's anchored. It's not moving. And uh, because it's sitting in the space of the anchor, you see, this is where the anchor usually sits. 
is a burden of confusion. Burden of confusion, which is taking away the light, the light which is hidden, of which there needs to be a move, a move towards shifting the the um, the aspect of this which is not true. Take a moment to ask yourself what is real about this relationship and what is not. Because it feels to me yeah, very much like the truth is hidden. Yeah, not only are the clouds over the sun and the sun and the space of the moon and the moon um, needing to be shifted or moved, and that is sitting in the space of the uh, the deception, it's, it's also that it doesn't really seem like there is a, a way forward here for the woman. Let me try to read, yeah, I have read it for the man already. It's actually, he's committed to his relationship here. They're sitting apart from each other. Mm. They're not mirroring each other either. Deep thought that she has, just thinking about this a lot. Thinking about it needing to move okay so what i want to say about this really this the spread here is that when she met him yeah she's sitting she's still sitting in that space of love okay when she met him it changed her entire life it shifted a lot of things in her life on a much bigger uh, level so i want to say this is like a twin flame kind of relationship or some people may call it could also have some karmic aspects to it because she's met him and it's shifted her entire life she's still in love with him He's come in there not to be with her, but actually to help her realize these things that she needs to about her own life, to make the decisions that she needs to make. Yeah, to move the clouds up, to shift the clouds away from her sun, to shine brightly. And um, she's still holding a flame for him. She's still holding a uh, the hope to be with him. But actually, and he is thinking, what shall I do? Shall I communicate? With her shall i say something but he's not going to do anything and this um this this woman has her whole life has changed since she's met him she's a completely different person since she's met him so what is the advice here i think the advice is for her to concentrate on herself and to take care of her own uh, take the opportunity that she has and do something with it yeah with regard to the man he's if he's going to come forth he's going to have to come forth on his own terms and when he's ready because he's sitting in his commitment he's sitting in his marriage and he's loyal to it here and this loyalty is is e eating away it's working against whatever he feels for 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 her so he's not planning to come forth any longer. So if, it, if you're waiting for this man to come up and to send this letter, yeah, he might have written it. He might actually have it. But I don't think that he's actually going to send it to you. I don't think that he's actually going to do anything. Uh, it might also be that he has, um, that you have written him a letter which he's holding on to. Okay, so... Um, what else can I offer you here? This institution or this work is cutting away the punish the punish this aspect that is punishing, yeah, the aspect that's that's hurting, the aspect that's destroying. Um, where there's a really difficult path for you. That is for the woman. A difficult path in your home where you need to be tr uh, like treading lightly um, the opportunity you you need to take the space this person is advised to actually concentrate on their work resolve the issues at home work um, move c come into more comfortable space at home where you're not needing to be treading lightly, where you're not needing to be uh, almost sneaky about or crafty. You can be completely yourself in your home and use the opportunity 
that you have right now because this is actually a very good time for you to be able to do things to be able to manifest things to be able to shift things because you have all this change taking place and this is this is a divine ordained change this is where that comes from and it comes with the help of this person but he's not meant to be there with you right now he's there to help you his energy this karmic connection this telepathic connection that you have with each other is helping you to actually um, go on in your life, to make the changes that you need to in your home, to make the changes that you need to in your work, to make, to shift things, to use the luck that you have, okay? As for the advice with regard to this man, if this is the man reading from this, if watching this, I want to say for you, you need to... Uh, you need to let this thing stop eating you away. And the way to do that is to be upfront. Don't ignore this woman. She needs you. You don't need to step out of your marriage to not ignore her. You need What you need to do is actually just step forth and communicate with her. Because this communication is on the tip of your tongue. And it's sitting on you and it's eating you away and you're not doing anything about it. And it's harming you. And yes, you have this relationship over your head. And yes, you are a force between the love that you have and the relationship that you have. And yes, you can be loyal to your partner, but you need to be able to tell her the truth. You need to be able to stand up and tell her the truth. And if you do, if you really believe in your marriage, if you really believe in your commitment to this other person, uh, and you know that you love this other person and nothing can break your, your relationship, then you would, you would be confident in stepping forth and being honest with her. You'd be confident in actually doing being real with yourself, not just hiding away, cowering away behind your ring, behind your marriage, behind your commitment. You would stand up and say, go to her and say, well, this is how I feel actually, but you know what? I've made the decision to be married, to be with my, with my wife or with my children or whatever that situation is there. Uh, because this person is not... Uh, this this person is very likely not available. For those of you who are reading and this person is available, yeah, this person is still looking away from you. They're still not looking in your direction. They're still not even connected to you. They're, you are in different orbits again. And uh, I think I said this in the other reading as well. So you're not even connected at this point. So this is where you need to face the reality about, of the situation. You need to understand that right now, as it stands at this moment, according to this reading here, you are not in each other's space at the moment and you need to acknowledge that and therefore nurture your own space, develop your own space. Yeah, And he needs to work with his mental capacities. I feel that you've been there already and you've done that work but and you've, you've come out of it and now you can actually work and manifest in the outside world whereas he has manifested in the outside world and he needs to go back in and work with what's going on inside of him. Okay? So, um, yeah, so I think that's uh, what I can offer you today with regard to this spread. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the pile number five, we are giving it a good shuffle. Oops, I have another card here. Giving it another shuffle, good shuffle.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin. I hope you can see that. Um, yes, I realize it's not symmetrical. I wonder if I can do something about that. Not right now. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll work on the symmetry another time. Um, okay, so just looking at this, the key to love, yeah, the key to love in this relation, in this situation, for you, for those of you who've chosen this one, is written communication. Could be written communication, could be a contract, a letter, a text message, an email, which you need to carefully consider. Uh, which abundantly expresses the attraction that you have, the passion that you have for this person, which you've not uh, alluded to as yet. Of which you are loyal to, you're loyal to this passion. You need to talk about the loyalty, you need to talk about the passion, you need to carefully consider your email before you send it to them. And that loyalty is a gift. It's a gift which is, at this point, a secret. A secret that he has. Which is cutting away, I want to say it's at work again, because he's sitting in a workspace. Um, but maybe, once again, you may have met at work, I'm not sure. Uh, it obviously doesn't apply for it to every one of you. Uh, but where he's sitting, he's got the secret. He's sitting there. And he wants to, he's cutting away the woman. The woman who's also in a meeting, sitting in a meeting with, in a, in a relate. She's sitting in a space of a meeting, in a garden, in a community, where there's a relationship. A relationship which has ended. Where there's a hope. A hope, but it's also a burden. This hope is also a burden of being committed, of being married. Committed to, the commitment is a key to the love. That's it. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the last deck, uh, the fifth, deck. Um, here's your layout and here's your message. So I'm going to start with a woman and what I see is she's in a space where she is um, sitting in a meeting, okay, in a meeting of which there is a relationship, all right, a relationship uh, which is bringing an ending an ending, this is so similar, all these readings have been so similar, which is bringing an ending to, um, to the hope. All right. The hope, which has been a burden, a burden of commitment, which is the key to the love. The love, which has been communicated, 
or a written message perhaps, which is deeply thought of. It's deeply thought of. Where's the moon here? Ah, oh, it's deeply thought of. It's deeply thought of in terms of with regard to money matters or or with regard to abundance of something. The abundance of the attraction. Actually, I don't think it's got to do with money it matters. I think it's got to do with the abundance. So it has to do with the abundance of the attraction. The attraction, uh, which is where there's some degree of craftiness or treading lightly or being cautious, being um, not really upright, not really forthright, not wearing your feelings or the attraction on your sleeve, but rather uh, treading lightly, yeah, being more cautious, being um, almost sneaky with regard to this attraction, of which there is loyalty. It's loyal, this loyal attraction. Loyalty is a gift. The gift is a secret. It's a secret of this man, for this man. It's a secret of this man and for this man. The man who is sitting in an institution, maybe at work or in a state office or in some kind of institution, university, college, school, which is cutting away the woman. The woman is sitting there. So these people are connected, okay? So energetically you are connected. It is not that you are not connected. You might not have had contact with each other, but there is a connection. He's looking at her, she's looking at him, okay? He has this abundance of attraction and so does she. There's communication here. So perhaps you have been in contact because this is a kind of communication and it's sitting there. So there's definitely communication here. Okay. There's, it's something to do with children or a new beginning as well. And it has to do, perhaps there's another woman or there's a mother or there is a, um, there's some other influence, a strong influence that has impact upon the situation. Who is this person? It's for, each of you, it will be a different person. Commitment, okay, is the key to the love. The love, which is a secret. A secret that this man ha has, okay, where this man is at work. So he's probably keeping the secret because he's at work or he's in this institution or he can't be direct with it or he's not able to be direct with it or he hasn't had an opportunity to be direct with it. But he's cutting away the woman. Yeah, and the, the institution is cutting away the woman. So it's almost as if she can't get closer to him because it's the institution that stands between you two. But he's actively cutting her away as well. So he wants to cut her away for some reason, even though there's a commitment Um which is the key to love. Perhaps it's love for another. When she comes up, when this bear comes in a reading, it's usually the wife or the mother. When it's the snake, it tends to be the other woman. Um, so the snake is here and there is an opportunity that's punishing the eating away. Where's the eating away? The eating away of the anchor. The anchor that is moving 
or requires a move, a house move, travel, over water, a trip, of which there is a legacy bringing to light a difficult path of the house, the house where there is deception. Okay, so that's a different matter. But here we're looking at the key to love, all right, is a letter or communication, written communication, which is deeply thought about. Okay, so once again, perhaps in this reading, perhaps you've communicated your, your feelings. Perhaps this woman has communicated her feelings to this man. Is this letter, this letter which is deeply thought of, where there's an abundance of attraction, an attraction which is crafty, yeah? This is not of the ordinary, it's not, it's, it's not, I want to say it's below the belt, excuse the pun, but it's not, um, it's not something that's spoken of, or as, it's not something that has been, um, it openly admitted. And it could also be at work environment. I know I've said that for almost all these readings, but in some cases it does apply. Where there's loyalty, loyalty to this attraction, okay? That's the key to this love, is that these people are loyal to each other in their attraction. And that loyalty is a gift. It is a gift of being anchored. No, oh, sorry, it's a gift which is secret. It's a secret of this man. Ah. So he really enjoys your loyalty. He really enjoys the fact that you're attracted to him. If you're the woman who I'm, who is reading this, the man really enjoys the fact that you are attracted to him. He really wants this attraction, yeah? Uh, he, it's an unspoken attraction. He's aware though that you have this attraction. He's facing you. Yeah. He wants you. See what action he's taking. So here, the action is sitting in a space of confusion. He's confused about what action to take. He's confused about that because nothing's riding forth. There's just confusion riding forth. He doesn't know what to do about it. It feels like a move or some kind of trip is anchored. Yeah, it's anchored in a legacy, in a long-term thing that is bringing to light a really difficult path regarding the house. The house where there's a lie, where there's something not being spoken of. There's something that somebody's misleading another where there's an opportunity to hurt, or to punish, or to remove, to, to not remove, but to, um, to exacerbate that which is gnawing away. All right, so what's happening here is that one of the parties here is being it has a situation where they have a, a lie in their home, so to say, because they're not being honest about what they are saying. So it's uh, this home could be at the actual house of themselves, but they also could be lying to themselves about their attraction, okay? What I see that's definitely the case here, okay, is that there is communication because this is something that cannot be denied in this given instance, with this kind of energy, right? There's a new beginning, or there's some children involved here. Perhaps both of you have children. There's a decision that needs to be made. These are th these are things that are not shifted. Yeah, you know? these are absolute facts. There's a decision to be made, probably with regard to a new beginning, of which there will be communication.
but he's cutting her away. Even though there's this huge attraction. Because the way he sees this opportunity is that it's a lie. It's dishonest. He sees this woman as a, dis as a dishonest opportunity. Like he has opportunity to be with her, but it's not an honest way of being. You see, there's a relationship that's ending here. This could also be a situation where they have been in a relationship with each other and this is now ending. And he's going to say that to her. And that's what the communication is about. This new beginning could be the ending of this relationship because year tells me that this is a relationship that's ending. It's bringing the ending of a hope, a hope which is a burden of commitment. So there's the hope that they could have been married to you or a commitment of some sort. But there is, a, it's a burden. The, this hope is a burden. And the relationship ending is bringing an end to that hope as well. There's a, a punishing, I like to use the word punishing whenever I see this card. There is this um, destruction or this, yeah, this hurting of that which is eating away, that which is gnawing away, that of what, what is anchored, yeah. So there's an attempt here to stop this feeling of loosening the anchor. This person wants to remain anchored. This person wants to remain anchored. They want... Even though they're, anch they're being anchored in a move, there's like a huge move that's coming up, which is related to their legacy, which is bringing to light a really difficult path. So it feels to me there's maybe a distance here between the people, or they could, there could be a situation where they live uh, apart from each other. Um, uh, being together would mean require a move, a, a, a huge move, in order to build a, a life together. But that's bringing to light a really difficult path. It's a very hard path. It's not so easy. It's not so simple. And that's because there's a house of which there's somebody is not being honest in this house. And somebody's not being, no, somebody's not speaking the truth. Somebody's hiding something. And this has the opportunity to actually hurt that anchor of Okay, so what I'm trying to say here, what I'm the way I'm reading the cards is there is a chance here to to be to be committed to a move, yeah, which could could create a new life. This does not mean that you could be together. This could be a move that you're doing separately from each other. Okay? It can apply also to you moving together into with each other, but it could also mean that you're moving apart from each other. And so this is this move, but and somebody's anchored in making this move to build this new life, bringing to light this difficulty. But in the house, there is deception. And this it brings the opportunity to actually uh, hurt this anchor, hurt this commitment to this move. So basically what I see here is that uh, since I'm using every card in the deck, yeah, these cards come up. There's lies, there's uh, deceit, there's uh, strength, there's attraction. We're trying to see how these cards communicate with each other, how they speak to each other, whether they have any relationship to each other. And from there, we can determine what is the real meaning. So, what am I seeing here? I'm seeing that... There's this man and this woman. In order to come to light, they need to make a decision. In summary, uh, for this reading, for those of you who have chosen this deck, I want to say that there's definitely communication that's certain here. There's definitely a new beginning of sorts or something to do with children, if not a new beginning. There's definitely a decision to be made. Okay? What's being brought to light is some difficulties regarding a home. Okay, where there's lies being spoke, has been spoken. 
Um, the key to love is communication. All right? A written communication, ideally. But having reflected upon this communication, having thought about it, because... The communication, it needs to be revised before you, you send it off. It's not something, don't just spontaneously say something or do something. Not in this situation, it's not going to work. You need to have thought about what you want to say. You need to write it down. You need to be able to, um, to reconsider it a few days later or a few weeks later. And then uh, you can send it. It, you need to be able to express your attraction to this person and how much you, you appreciate them. And you need to be able to explain to them why you've been not forthcoming with that attraction. You need to also, this applies to both men and women, you need to be able to talk about how loyal that attraction is and how it's a gift to you and how it's helped you in your life. And how, and yeah, that's basically what you need to do in the regard to the situation. Um, there's confusion. The guy is not the per the male as person of this doesn't know how to come forth. Yeah, because there's he's sitting in confusion, and this is the confusion is about coming forth. Um, what else can I read from these cards for you? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it here. Okay. Um, This woman, yeah, she's sitting in this in this place where there's been a meeting, but which has resulted in the relationship ending of sorts. So, so there's a meeting that is there's where there's a relationship that's ended, and an ending has brought the ending of a hope, a hope which has been a burden of commitment. Yeah, but I've said all this already. But this is something that I don't know how it applies to you because it's so uh, broad and it's so vague. And I think it applies to you in a way that I cannot fathom at this moment uh, because I'm trying to understand it uh, intellectually, but uh, there's so many very different scenarios that come to mind. And um, yeah, do tell me how it, it, it resonates or how it pans out for you or whether it resonates at all. And um, yeah, do, these two are... They are facing each other and they are connected with each other. Their energies are connected. They intermingled. But this man is trying to cut away this woman. So, and he has got this confusion. Yeah. So it's, I think the woman here needs to be the one who actually makes, write, writes this letter. Okay. If you have done this already, if you've written a letter already, uh, which may be the case in some uh, situations where you have fallen in love with this person after meeting them and um, is meant perhaps a relationship ending in your life or it's brought about the ending of the, the relationship in their life, uh, another relationship, and you are, have already written your love to them and you're waiting upon them. Then... Then I think the other thing that is really strong here is the attraction. The attraction is very strong. There's an abundance of this attraction. You may have met years ago, you may have met last month, but the attraction is very, very, very strong. So if you can't, if it doesn't work through a, um, a letter, then go ahead and meet this person. Try to meet this person. Try to reconnect in the same way as you did at the beginning. Because... This is going to, you won't be able to fight that attraction. And that will bring um, the true feelings to the fore here, if you want to be with this person, that is. If you're asking about an ex, this person is still thinking about you, they're still attracted to you, they're confused about what to do next, they've not been honest about some things, that has gone on, but it's not wildly detrimental. It's not a terrible lie. Uh, it's not, it might have been a white lie or something. It's not a huge lie. It feels more to me like this person is, is hiding that love that they have 
from their family. Yeah, just not, not speaking about it. It doesn't feel like there's an affair or there's somebody else or something like this. Perhaps if this person has kids or has a family, like a mother or something, that's the other card that's here that's very strong. There's the certainty of the mother. The certainty of, now often influence, I want to say, this is the, the mother card or it could be the wife, but there's the certainty of the, the so this person plays an, a role. There's an, um, this person plays a role in this relationship here between these two people. She has an influence is what I want to say, or he has an influence in this case. And it, it's just it's below the rider. So it could be that, you know, she's the partner. It, in some cases, it could be that she is the partner. And the key to the love is that commitment, is that that marriage is stable. But I, I, I feel that's just maybe a, um, like a, a small percentage of you, maybe like 1%. Yeah, so I don't know if these readings have made any sense to you at all uh, because of the way in which I read these cards uh, with the Grand Tableau. Uh, but I just want to give you a feel of what it's like uh, to have a Grand Tableau reading. I find these readings fascinating. I absolutely love reading um, the Grand Tableau and I read it for myself as well as for uh, a lot of my clients uh, often, I don't just read it for love, I read it also for uh, career and work aspects or for personal life. It's also a very popular uh, spread for when uh, I'm reading about family issues or family matters. And I found this to be a very uh, helpful way of, of reaching to the core of the matter understanding why they are not behaving in the way that you expect them to behave, understanding what their intentions are, understanding what's motivating them and what's not motivating them or demotivating them. Okay, so I'd like to say uh, once again, thank you very much for coming to this channel and I thank, thank you very much to, for uh, subscribing. You've been wonderful. Thank you for all your kind comments and um, uh, all the best to you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.